another level than what they talk. Uh, meaning you can decode behind the words what is exactly what they are feeling and where the, what they need, what is happening for you. Uh, so you can even use it in terms of negotiation, in terms of, uh, of meetings. Uh, it's an accelerator of, uh, in the way that you reach your goal more efficiently and it's more sustainable since you are, you can check that not only you reach your objectives but the other one as well. In the very beginning when people in the company, in the corporation, get those four steps as a frame, it gives such a security. That's what I have experienced at least when, when I've shared and we see in companies, yeah, that these four steps gives the people a security and, and, and a confidence that they, they are al allowed to, to, to express themselves, and it's okay because they have this. It's like after, after the sharings of NVC in the corporation, we set up um, some ground rules that, okay, if I have something difficult to say now, from now on, we can say that we use this as a tool. And I can see that that has helped a lot of people to dare to express things that they would not have expressed before. I'm Gladys and I live in Paris. Paying attention to my emotions, to what I feel, and at the same time to what others I'm interacting with, especially my team members and my colleagues, how they feel. And definitely it was, I mean, a way to find, to actually work better, to make relationships, you know, easier than it was before for me. The reality definitely is the same, but the way I'm interacting with people has changed. So to me, I'm much more efficient at work now since I discovered NBC. I mean, this was, I call it a rebirth. I was born a second time when I discovered NBC. Mark Milton, and I'm speaking from Switzerland. Not that long ago, one of my colleagues was having a very difficult moment, and he was quite triggered about some of my behaviors, the way I shared something. And he just sent me an email, which was like, you're like this, you're doing this, and you're not this. And, uh, and uh, first I had emotions coming up and thinking, wow, but why, why is he, you know, even with 15 years experience, you know, what, why is he saying this to me like this? And what have I done wrong? And so, so the beauty of what NBC brought me in this situation is that I was able to go inside to understand that what he was saying was about him, about what his needs, what he wanted from our relation. So I was able to really offer a genuine listening to what's happening with him and not mixing up with my reality. After uh, a long career working in the corporate world, and during that career, I learned about NVC and started taking trainings. I did a project to offer NVC outside of the corporate world. Then they said, oh, why don't you offer it in, in this major Fortune 50 company? My own manager asked me to teach her and my colleagues NVC, and I ended up teaching uh, 200 people in this corporation, NVC. And still today, I will get contacts from those colleagues. So it was a very long lasting impact. Uh, and, an, uh, and I also get contacts from other people who were not my immediate colleagues who I taught in this major corporation. The immediate response in almost every workshop I gave was, oh, I could use this not only at work, but at home. So many people who either are corporate people or are not think of corporate people as something less than human. So it's a way to humanize people in corporations uh, by offering nonviolent communication trainings and modeling nonviolent communication. Uh, and these people have resources that can be used to further impact the world in this positive way of consciousness and empathy. Mm -hmm.